Hello everyone, myself Khushbu Verma, Technical Solution Specialist for Structures at Capricot Technologies Private Limited. I would like to welcome you all to today's Tech Insight on Modeling Elevated Water Tanks Using StatPro Connect Edition. So uh, before going into the session, I'll give you a brief introduction of our organization Capricot Technologies. Capricot is India's leading design and construction management technology solution provider for architecture, engineering, and construction. We are one of the largest platinum partner of Autodesk and Bentley and an authorized training center. We have more than 300 dedicated team members and Capricot serves over 20,000 clients in the AEC and related industries. Capricot has contributed significantly to the country's adoption of computer-aided design for more than three decades. We offer the best solutions approaches and practices to increase your productivity and lower project risk. We are delighted to inform you that we have a global footprint. To serve you with the best of our abilities, Capricot Technologies is now a part of Arkane's group. In this insight, I'll show you how you can model elevated water tank in StatPro Connect Edition. Many users uh, don't even know uh, that they can design elevated water tank or model uh, elevated water tank in a start for connect edition. And uh, the inside will focus on different parts of uh, um, uh, uh, elevated water tanks and how you can uh, design different parts of elevated water tank. I'll show you the structure wizard option. Uh, within a structure wizard option, there are different surfaces like uh, plate models, surface models, etc. Uh, available, which you can use while modeling your water tank. Similarly, I'll show you how you can use uh, circular beam, cylindrical surfaces, and reverse cylindrical frame uh, while modeling your uh, elevated water tank. So uh, just give me a moment. I'll directly take you to the software part. So this is the uh, model of uh, elevated water tank, which I have created for this inside purpose. This is the 3D view of the model. If I'll take you to the geometry part, or uh, you can see uh, this is the model and how you can create it. This, uh, this is what I'll show you in this insight. So let me show you how you can model such type of uh, water tank and start to connect edition. So this is the graphical user interface of uh, start to connect edition. Within this geometry tab, you can see structure wizard option. Just click here on the structure wizard. Within this structure wizard option, you can see different inbuilt model type is available. Uh, like you can see, if you go to this drop down option, you can see truss models, frame models, surface and plate models, solid models, and different data models. Uh, if I'll take you to this frame models, just click here on the uh, frame models. Here you can see a reverse lendical frame option. Just double click here, and you can see this dialog box will open. So uh, you will enter uh, the data according to your uh, requirement. Suppose I'm taking the length of the column as or length of the uh, water tank as 20 meter. Radius I'm taking is uh, 5 meter and the angle I'm taking is uh, 360 degree. So enter the data according to your project or give the input. I'm taking the number of uh, ways along length as 5 and suppose I'm uh, number of ways along periphery I'm taking is 8. And then click on this apply button. So you can see this is how your model or your reverse cylindrical frame will look like. Now, if you want to transfer this model to Stat Pro's main window, you will click here on the transfer model option. Just click here and then click on this CS button. I want to transfer this model on origin. So I'm taking the coordinates as 0, 0 and 0 and click on OK. So this is how you can transfer your uh, model to the uh, main window of StatPro Connect Edition. Now click on uh, this view option, select the front view 
and delete these bottom beams which we don't require so uh, this is how you can create your lower part of a water tank now how you can create the uh, other part or the upper part of a elevated water tank i'll show you suppose if you want to create the lower plate of this water tank so to create the lower plate again go to this uh, geometry option click on this structure wizard option go to this drop down option and select the surface and plate models here you can see the spherical surface option just double click here enter the data now i am selecting the types as spherical cap diameter i am taking as uh, uh, suppose i am taking the diameter as 15 and the base diameter i am taking as 10 top diameter 0 and then uh, suppose uh, the angle i am uh, taking and angle i am taking as 360 degree division i am taking as 8 after giving all these values just click on this apply button so you can see this is how the lower part or lower plate of water tank will look like now if you want to transfer uh, this model to the start pose main window just click here on the transfer model option click on okay to attach uh, this structure on the existing uh, model you have to select the reference point just select the reference point point so, suppose i am selecting this as a reference point click on okay and then click here okay so this is how you can attach your this model to the existing project now i'll show you how you can create the cylindrical part of your water tank for that part again go to this structure wizard option again select again select the model type go to this spherical sorry surface of plate models and then select this cylindrical surface option double click here enter the data length i am taking is 3 meter start point 5 start radius uh, i am taking is 5 meter and radius i am taking is 8 meter and then select uh, division along length and the division along periphery and then select this axis i am selecting i am taking the end uh, point along y axis is 1 and here and as zero click on this apply button now transfer this model again in the similar way transfer this model to the existing uh, window click yes select the reference point to attach the model to the existing project suppose i'm select taking this as a reference point and click on okay now zoom it out Now select the point where you want to attach it. Click on OK. So this is how you can attach your model. Now I'll show you how you can create the other part of this water tank. Again, go to this structure wizard option. You can see all the parts of uh, uh, elevated water tanks is available within this structure wizard option. so you can uh, enter the data according to your uh, project or according to your water tank and generate the uh, geometry automatically again go to this uh, structure wizard option select the model type again i am selecting this surface and plate models now go to this uh, cylindrical surface option or you 
can select a Again, click here on cylindrical surface. Give the value of a length, 8. Start uh, radius, 8. And radius, 8. Surface angle I am taking is uh, 360. Division along length is 1. And along periphery is 8. In the y direction, I am taking the axis in the y direction. 0 and click on apply again transfer this model to the main window and then click yes select the reference point I am taking this as a reference point click on ok ok so this is how you can model this cylindrical part of this elevated water tank now for the upper plate how you can model upper plate in the similar manner to create the upper part of a uh, elevated water tank, just again click here on this structure wizard option. Select the model type, surface and plate models. Select the spherical plate. Give the values. Diameter, I am taking is 23. And the base diameter I am taking is 16. And the division I am taking is 8. Angle, start angle 0 and angle 360 degree. And click on apply. Now transfer this model. To merge it to the existing project. Yes, select the reference point. I am taking this as a reference point. And okay. So this is how you can model your water tank and start to connect addition. Now I'll show you uh, my existing model. That is how I have created that model. So you can see how you can, uh, how it will look like. So this is how you can uh, model your elevated water tank in Statpro Connect Edition. And after assigning the properties and materials and the supports, it will look like this. If I show you uh, the 3D rendering view, just go to this view option. Click here on the 3D rendering view. So this is how your elevated water tank will look like. So this is how you can easily uh, uh, model your elevated water tank and start to connect addition. So this is all for today's insight. For more videos and updates, do subscribe our channel Capricorn Technology Private Limited. Like and comment if you like the insight. We would be delighted to hear from you. Please reach out to us for any suggestion, query or topic you would want to discuss. Thank you. See you next week.